the A-10 tournament, there is one thing you can take to the bank with no worry about an overdraft. When VCU wins their quarterfinal game, they go to the championship final. Since joining the league in the 2012-13 season, the Rams are a perfect 7-0 all-time in the semifinals of the conference tournament. Saturday, VCU was on the doorstep of yet another trip to the A-10 title game. They took on St. Joe's, who the Rams beat 73-69 at the Siegel Center back on February 25th, early first half. Toby Lawal shows off his hops for two of his seven along with six boards. Rams up by two. A few minutes later, Zeb Jackson, the bucket plus the bump and a little flex from the senior. 12 and eight boards for him. VCU led by as many as nine, but Cameron Brown and St. Joe's would have a response. The triple there, he finished with 13. Hawks down 21-15. Still in the first half, Eric Reynolds goes to the 10 for two of his 18. A 13-2 run to close the half. Gave the Hawks a one-point lead at the break. Something that Coach Ryan Odom talked about with that official as they headed to the locker room and what Odom said at halftime, Shulga took to heart. The drive to the basket to give VCU a three-point lead. Then he dialed it up from long distance. One of his three makes from three as he led all scorers with 25. VCU is back in the conference title game for the second year in a row with a 66-60 win over St. Joe's. Lane Casadante continues our coverage from Barclays. There is no substitute for experience, and VCU's Max Shulga has shown that all season long. His record-tying shooting performance in the A-10 semifinals, he was 10 of 11 from the floor, combined with his calm demeanor, has the Rams on the brink of another A-10 title and NCAA appearance. When your best player is playing with that type of confidence, it gives everybody else confidence, and certainly we've seen Max do that over the course of his career in big moments, you know, where he's really stepped up for his team. He just played the game in a really determined way. He's just a baller. Um, nothing phases him and he's just, he's ready for the moment. Um, so he's obviously our, our go-to guy and a big time player and um, going to make a lot of money playing this game. That was that was big time, you know, I was just, I was taking the shots that, uh, that the defense was giving me and they were they were thankfully going in, you know, I work I work on uh, I work on my on my craft every single day before practice, after practice, whenever I have free time, so uh, yeah, it's really great to see it pay off, in, especially in big moments like that. It's, it's a big game, but you can't play, have to play bigger than what the game is, right? You have to be you, and we have to be us, uh, you know, going into it, regardless of who we end up playing, we know we're going to be playing an excellent team, just like we did, you know, the last three night, last three times we've played. The Rams are now a perfect 8-0 in semifinal games at the A-10 tournament, and they have made the championship game in three of the last four years. And by the way, the last five seed to take it all at the A-10 tournament, the VCU Rams back in 2015. At the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, Lane Casadante, CBS 6 Sports.